So here's what I do, guys. When any time I have to paint is, again, this is Model Masters. This is actually primer, but I love how bright the white is, so I've been using that a lot. And um, also what I'll do is say I'm drawing, uh, <laughs> we're just gonna do, I used to do these pancakes for my son. These like elephant pancakes, right? So say I was drawing an elephant. Okay, this is like the stick figure of elephants, right? What I would do is I would outline all of this in black ink, okay? In the black here, and then I take the Model Masters primer and I lay it all in there. I fill the whole thing in. That way I have a canvas to kind of paint on. So if I am using a gray, it's not affected by the red that's on the background here. And it's just, it's like if uh, if you were to paint on a, an actual canvas, they use gesso, which just gives it a very flat white surface. So that's kind of what I do. Now, when I do any sort of lettering, which I hope you can see this, I, I did adjust my camera here. Um, I will write out what it is that I'm supposed to paint and where because again, I've painted the wrong things and had to you know paint over and whatever. So as you can tell, I have volume, which will be here, fuzz, which will be here, and then this is sundial in the original. Now, so I don't like, I don't want this to be an exact copy. I'm not going to paint the sun on here. So I'm actually just going to call this bias because that's what that is. It's essentially just working in conjunction with this bias pot right here um, to dial in the transistors or the train, the second stage transistor. So here we go. Now, this is the other thing. An 18 and 0 brush, shooby doo, short liner, they call them. I have used all kinds of brushes. These are the ones I prefer. Now, they're great for fine detail and line work for lettering. They are really great, you know, for most surfaces for most things. What I will do is use a thicker tipped, uh, let me see what I got over here. This is a zero round brush. I will use the round when I have to fill in with the primer for that, that the first coat. So just to, those are usually the only two brushes I use. And I will use this brush for a very long time. I mean, I think I've, been through about five of them and I've painted I don't know what would you say 250 petals roughly not including all the ones I've given away so all right let's get into this black impossible to open it's like pickles there we go all right so all I do is keep it really pretty simple now for all of these I always start in the middle of where the knob is, right here, and then I work my way outward. So for instance, volume, I'll go, there's six letters, I'm gonna put that right in the middle and work each way. And you can't tell, but right there, maybe we can see it, see how the, paint starting to pool on the end of that brush. If you put too much pressure on the brush, it's gonna start dropping right on the petal. So you end up with these giant globs, and that, my friends, sucks. Now there's two reasons I do it this way. And you're gonna see, I do a first coat of black ink, right? And I try to get this, again, I'm trying to work around all these damn cameras and lights. So I hope it's kind of accurate. And I leave the knobs on to start with because I can um, clearly not paint and talk at the same time. Uh, I leave the knobs on so I'm not painting underneath them and that it makes it hard to read what what's going on. So there, fuzz volume bias, we're dialed in. Now that I did that, I have my initial writing on there. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna clean the hell out of my brush, 
get all the residual black paint out of it. And again, this is just, uh, sorry, you can't see that. Water, shop towel. You know the shop towels you get at Menards or your hardware store that are for cleaning oil off your tools? Same thing, they're just a thicker paper towel. They're really durable, I use them all the time. Okay, so now what I do, this is just, this helps everything go a lot faster and easier, is I take the knobbies off, cause you know, at 50 to 80 cents to a couple dollars each, you don't really wanna monkey around with them. Get them all painted up, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do now here is uh, white, I'm gonna go using this white to make it really kind of stand out. I'm gonna go all the way around the sides of it here. And this is just to kind of keep the colors, really make it stand out. And this primer is a little bit thinner, so I might have to do it a couple times in white. And as you can see, I'm not really giving a shit about getting on none of the black because I'm actually gonna go over it at least one more time. So, and as you can tell with this this 18 and 0 brush, it's really easy to get nice straight lines as long as your hands aren't shaking too bad, which mine usually are. Oh, there we go. We just had a globber of paint come off. So when that paint pooled like that, I don't know if you can see that, and on that E right here, I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about something else and then it pulled right off the brush. So then what I'll do is I'll use that as a, I'll, hopefully the brush will absorb some of it and I can use it to keep painting the other uh, letters here. Eh, shit like that happens. No big deal. That's the beauty of acrylic paint. If you don't like it, you just go over it again. Okay, so we have all the outline work done for the most part, okay? And what we can see here is, it's kind of hard to see, but some of it's not 100% like all in there. So what I'm gonna do is let that dry a little bit and I'll go through it one more time with white and then I'll go through it one more time with black and then we're done for the lettering. And this is actually for me the most complicated part because A, I have really shitty handwriting um, and uh, it's just the most time consuming between taking knobs off, putting them back on, multiple coats and all that. All right, we're just gonna keep plugging away here. There we go, done. Now what we'll do is put our knobs back on and we'll bias this, well, we'll bias it first probably and then put our knobs back on while that paint dries. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set this multimeter right here. I'm gonna plug in my, my pedal, Boop. right? Did anyone see that? What did I forget? No, stupid. You didn't fucking solder in the fuzz pot. Been doing this for way too long to forget stuff like that. We just go for it and fix it in post. That's what we do around here. Biasing a transistor fuzz, a two transistor fuzz, a fuzz face circuit. There's no hard and fast rules, okay? Um, I want to say the Eric Johnson one is a little bit lower at three and a half volts. This will be four and a half volts roughly. Now mind you, we have two bias pots on here. So we can, when you, and I'll show this, but when we adjust this bias knob and we adjust this bias knob, it's going to basically set two points of this transistor. So what I'm going to do is kind of turn this uh, about halfway up. We put our black probe 
into here, okay, which we're actually going to try to do it over here, okay, that's grounding on the enclosure. We're going to take this and put it to this pin right here of the transistor and see we're at 6 volts. So we're going to try to dial that, if we can, down to about 4.5, okay. Again, there's no hard and fast rules about this. You can go by ear and you'd be fine. That's why I picked this circuit is, yes, we're getting multimeter experience and how to use it, but it doesn't really matter because it's, you know, you got to use your ears. So when people get really particular about certain stuff like this, this isn't a bucket brigade pedal. It's a fuzz. Just do it until it sounds good. And then for me, like, I don't like any of this clean trim pot. I don't find it to be very useful. That's why I have a trim pot on my guitar called the volume knob. So there we go. We have officially got a fuzz face built, biased. We're going to put on the knobs. Where's my screwdriver? And we're done. And we're going to do now is I'm going to reset up all the cameras and we're going to test this thing. And we will monkey around with the bias again, just so you guys can hear the difference. Um, and yeah, we got a fuzz face, baby. BC 108 fuzz. Boom.